I'm going to cast Legend Lore. Legend Lore, okay. Uh, on what? What the fuck is that? On that ridiculous two pieces of sword that I have. Oh, okay. Do you have the, the material components for it? Yes, I do. It's a lot of weird ivory and. Okay, I need to go for my notes on this one. Yeah. Ivory and, uh, and uh, weird <laughs> bits I had to. Incense I had to pick up for that. Okay. Where do you go in and do this ritual? <laughs> I see all of this happening. I'm going to go back up into the room yeah. for a minute, sit down, set up, make a little setup, put the sword in front of me, and maybe, hopefully, get a glimpse as to where, what I'm supposed to do next. I have some theories, and I just want to see if I'm on the right track. Okay. You go ahead and get partway through it, and you hear like <coughs> climbing up the, uh, the ladder that leads to the second point. You see this kind of middle aged, big, bushy, bearded orc kind of comes up and goes, Oh, you. You look like you're in the middle of something. Thaum I'm Thaumaturgy, I'm going to turn in just the blackest eyes. I'm going to leave you to it. Uh, and just like slowly <laughs> leaves the chamber. Close doors. <laughs> like the, yeah. the, uh, the hatch <laughs> slaps over. All right. As you complete the ritual, the smell of the incense mingling with kind of the, uh, the, the sweat dried wood around you on the floor here. Uh, it fills your nose, your eyes sting, and the warmth overtakes you. Not the heat, but the warmth, a familiar comfort. Uh, at which point, you don't hear a voice, but a series of images and emotions convey uh, what almost seems like a montage of moments through time, through history. And the best that you can that your brain, that your mind can interpret these images. Say, this blade was once known as Dweth Var, the Star Razor. Write it down, write it down! You can see the blade itself now before you, set upon a stone tablet, itself glowing with runes across the center of it. A weapon forged through a union of two acolytes of Melora and Sehanin during the Age of Arcanum. It carries the blessing of the fiercest full moon and starlit night. Recovered by the elves and dwarves of Uthodurn, it was reforged and strengthened under the skilled work of the dwarven smith, Dulgrim Smeltborn, before it was sundered in a terrible battle deep within the ruins of Malayasmir, within the Savalir Wood. The pieces have since been recovered as historical relics trading hands through traveling merchants and smugglers, then lost through time. 